Hi guys, Sibelta here and welcome to another new video. So today I'll be doing something different. I'll be like recommending you guys the books that I read. Recommending slash telling you guys and showing you guys the books that I read during 2022. I was not a reader myself at all. I used to like listen to Bagawe used to like advise me to listen to audiobooks because my english was horrible it was bad 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 so i started like listening to audiobooks listening to audiobooks like listening using the laptop like listening on youtube like it, it was really helping me because i could like see the words and listen to what the person is saying you understand so yeah it really like helped me from there then eventually me i started like having the not the edge but the love to read just me by myself because I wasn't reading because I was like, I don't like it. 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 I was not reading. I was not interested. But I'm not saying that this year, this year has changed me in terms of reading novels. It has changed me. So I'll be showing you guys the books that I've, I've read. Like literally every time when I have money, I save my money and go to the thrift store. So every book that I'll be showing, most of them I bought them at the thrift store, which you saw on the spend productive days with me. So first off, we have Chris Froome, The Climb. Here's the book, The Climb. It basically like talks. You guys, you know that. If you know, you know that I cycle. Like I cycle. Like I promised you guys a video. I promise you guys that I'll vlog when I circle and I haven't like officially did the thing but I'm promising you guys. Anyways, Chris from uh the climb it talks about like Chris from in general. Chris from is a cyclist if you don't know. He is he won the two, 2015 Tour de France. Tour de France is like a big race, big race. So like it shows the struggles from like when he was young, everything like that. Woman, great. Like it, but it's most mostly like a motivation book. You see, a motivational book. And yeah, I read all this. All of it. I was not a reader, guys. I'm telling you, I was not. And I'm going to my magazine. So yeah, it shows like everything, every mouse, every step, everything. It basically talks about his life. So yeah, if you're excited and you need or want to know more check him out and here is another book this one is new moon by stephanie maya 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 either way here is if you know twilight you know you know it's kind of like a romantic romance book it's a romance book i, I think it's part is it a degree of twilight or oh, part let me, let me see that's part there's new moon let me see oh there's twilight there's new moon so this one is part two i watched like every movie of twilight and if you know twilight you know but i feel like uh books novels have more detail more detail so and my mom advised me to not read the new moon without the twilight the first one and, uh, i was desperate at the time guys i was desperate i didn't have like any novel to read so i just went on and like even though i know what happens in the movie so if you don't know twilight so anyway it's where there's edward there's bella so it's a cop uh, there's he is a vampire and the girl is just an ordinary human being she, uh, she basically like falls in love with him and they have challenges throughout life throughout that journey of that relationship hi so i'm realizing this now that i was explaining i was explaining twilight instead of the new moon so basically in the new moon bella gets into a deep depression a deep deep depression because edward left her but could she really like loved him could she deep depression i thought and deep and so what's on my uh at least a couple of months passed by but i'm trying to like give you hints yeah no, not like everything that happens a couple of months passed by and alice alice as as edward's sister she comes back to where they used to stay because she saw that she she saw a vision basically she sees the future when she she saw that uh bella was killing herself hansa bonano uh, edward and and he can read minds so by this and he kept he like promised before he left he promised bella that if you ever get like killed or you kill yourself i'm killing myself 
Alice hearts and a go go Bella. She finds that Bella still arrived. Good, it was just a misunderstanding. Or what? And in Ghana, they have to like return back, go back to where now the where Edward Smith family stays to like tell Edward to not kill himself doing anything because even when even if they can call the word call, he wouldn't like believe it. Good, he would believe it if he saw. Well, so I mean, they had to, to like go to Edward. So you should like really to find out if they did find Edward on time or he already killed himself. And mind you, where where he went, there are vampires there. So Bella is risking her life too. So the third book that I read is Towards the Light, Hope in the Face of Depression, well known in South African share, well known South Africans share love stories. Basically this is a book of depression. I feel like even if you don't seek out, suffer from depression, you should know something about depression. And this book like tells you like this game. Like I think there are four or five six somewhere there. People who like tell tell their journey about how they got depression, what happened, what they did, to fight depression, go to everything like that. You know. So like yeah, I feel like even if, if you don't suffer from depression, check it out. Because I don't suffer from depression, but I can look at it and you a lot happened a lot happened people are going through a lot so check it out next up we have slime slam sorry slam by Colin Wilkes as the book yeah that's the book basically it talks about a family a it's two it's a mom mom and dad and I'm basically I forgot the names because I read the book long ago mom and dad and a girl named Lake and a boy named Kyle. So, we, so the dad died. Just the few pages of the dad died. Or Kyle, Kyle Lake and her mom had to move out of the city to go to another, to out, out of the city to go to a town. And Kyle, not Kyle, so Lake didn't know the whole reason why they were moving. So you should find out if if they were moving because her mother found a new boyfriend, or is it because she had a job, a new job? Oh, is it because she's sick? So go with the normal and find out. Next we have The Perfect Wife by Blake. Yeah, Blake. Basically in the third book, it's a it's a size psychological thriller. Yes, it's a psychological thriller. A young couple moves from a town to a city. Yeah. Oh, is that a city to a town? Yeah, either way, they move. The main reason why they moved is because the man, her husband, Jesse's husband, has more like job opportunities to where they moved. So, yeah, but there's something behind behind that that moving. So, I don't want to like spoil it. You have to like read for yourself. And Jesse goes to college. She still like goes to college because if she has she is a studying psychological stuff. Yeah, Jesse like studies psychological stuff. But I didn't specify. So let me specify it here. She does like she is a criminal profiler in training. That is why she still goes to college. And there's there's some certain things that she's not supposed to tell her husband. Okay. So let me just like yeah, just hint. So one night Ali go about cruising with her husband. She wakes up to go to she wakes up with a body besides her, a dead body besides her. Woman. So you like you should like read out to find out how how did the body get there, who killed that person and specifically what happened. What happened? I had like thirty no, I had a goal to read thirty books, but right now I'm reading my sixteenth book. Thirty books. I had like a goal to read thirty or more novels, but I read only sixteen. Is it? Yeah, it's sixteen. One six. One six. Sixteen books. And yeah, well I say this so I still have time. <laughs> I still have time. Okay, let me show you like my three top three books. I'm gonna start with like the third, second, first. The third is Frank is Pell Street. Pell by Frank Delaney. I think yeah, Frank Delaney. This basically talks about a young architect architect named Nicholas. He was supposed to it's a matter of mystery slash romance book. 
he was supposed to meet up with his friend Anthony, but it did not end up happening because Anthony did not show up to the lunch they planned. Normally, Anthony is never late. Never. Never late. Mary, on this day, he became late. So, uh, I'm giving like the drop on Yano, but not like everything will happen at drop on Yano. What happened? So, during that time, what are Anthony, not Anthony, sorry, Nicholas called the company, called uh, Anthony's home phone number, calling to figure out where Anthony is. Ah, Anthony did not answer. Quit the room, but Anthony hasn't shown up. Okay, Anthony, okay. Then he dropped, then you're like, he was thinking, what, what happened? Where is Anthony? Where is Anthony? I'm some questions again. I guess he's in like a restaurant. There's a mail that comes in. By a sign. Okay, has my sign. There's a box. He opens the box and finds a knife within the box. So yeah, I'm ending. I'm ending it there. You should like read it for yourself. Read it because it's nice. And let's talk about the detail. You see, I thought this was a, a not. I thought this was a blue berry, a blackberry. Yeah, I thought this was. But it's a person. Look. There's a little person. I saw this when I finished the book. I was like, people are creative. Guys, I am watching like the video that I'm editing. I'm watching this, that video. Yeah, the one that you're watching. And I'm seeing that I was pronouncing the, the author's names. But especially they say names wrongly. But just bear with me, guys. Just bear with me. This is the second one. My second book. It's, no, the second book that I loved this year. That I still love. It's called The Devil Was Parada. Last night, a chatu chatue moment by no name was like, I think I'm not pronouncing it. Okay, right, but here's the book. It's so bright. See, here's the novel. Yes. So basically, it's a romantic book. Romance. Yes, romance. And this novel, there's a young couple, Brooke and Julian. So Brooke is the breadwinner in this book yeah she is the breadwinner and during this time Brooke works two jobs and her husband Julian is an upcoming musician you understand so one night Julian I guess was he was always working on his on his like music and all and his wife Brooke was always like supporting him mind you wife everything apart like the Mercedes was doing everything she was paying everything so like one time Julian was at a bar and he got noticed by Sony. Sony is like a company that deals with music. Uh, yeah, in this book, it deals with music. So and Sony. He became famous. Like literally in one night. One night. And uh, how we covered that last night at the something happened. He had consequences of becoming got the consequences of becoming a celebrity. Got the last one. This one is like nowhere else by Denise Woods. Yeah. That's my number one book, guys. Number one. And it's also romance. Romance. Yeah. Basically it talks about a young a girl, a woman, sorry. A woman named Vivian. Vivian is like a traveller. She like travels so she had to choose between travelling, basically her job and love. Yeah, she had to choose between the two. And you have to like read it to see if she chose love or traveling. Love or traveling. And yeah, that is the end of my book recommendations. Obviously, it's not the end because I still have to, I still have to go. And that's I'm filming this. I'm shooting this on. I think it's the 11th or the 12th of I don't know. And I still have time to read 15 books. How? Oh, but I still have time, and I'll do part two, episode two next year. Next year probably out of probably January because yeah January because that's when we'll know if I have completed my goal or not. But anyways, thank you for watching this whole entire video. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in episode three of Vlogmas. Bye.